This is Mario Central finding out what to do next because I actually don't remember Sonic's story now. Oh, we can't go here. Well, no problem. We can fly at the speed of light. Ha 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 ha. I love it. Oh, I just love this. It's so fun. I, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I just get a thrill when, when, when I do things like this. It's just awesome. I. Oh, you know what? Now I know what to do. We have to go see Knuckles. What's up, man? It's the good old Knucklehead that's going to make the same boneheaded mistake as last time. Hey, Knuckles. What's up? Oh, Knuckles, I'm just going to punch your eyes out. <laughs> Jeez. Watch it, Tails. You have. Quick. No way, exactly. Lay down the law, Tails. And now Tails is actually getting to fight Knuckles, so a bit of a change. Sonic's just kind of standing there being like, oh, hey, yeah, go ahead, Tails. You can do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a cheerleader. <laughs> and uh, again, well, I am giving it my best shot, Knuckles. That's why you're so undramatic about it. You're just like, oh, no. <laughs> and that's that. He oh no. not again. Oh no, the emeralds. <laughs> and they're all mine. Eggman's back. <sighs> Knuckles. You two are fumbling idiots. No, it's mainly Knuckle. And kind of tails, he hand delivered an emerald to you. Sonic's the non-idiot here. I like how he asks Tails for the Chaos Emerald. And then he's just like, wait a second. <gasps> Those are the Chaos Emeralds. What? Do you not know what they look like? You've been guarding them all these time, man. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, it just happened, Knuckles. <laughs> I like how even Tails looks at him like, oh, you idiot. Count them. Four emeralds. I summon chaos. And just like last time, we'll be taking on the chaos four form or three year. I don't even know. I think it's the chaos five. Jeez, I keep forgetting. I think it's chaos four. What am I? Jeez, I'm just losing all train of thought here. Now that other form is obviously from the other emeralds he got. So that was chaos three, I believe. And now this is chaos five. Maybe that's chaos two. Oh, I'm so confused. So many chaoses. And just like last time, we'll be facing this form once again in water, but again, so much more easier when you're with Tails, because you don't even have to jump from lily pad to lily, lily pad, you just have to fly all the way around, and then wait for the opportune moment, and then strike with your tail. And it actually keeps- oh, you know what, I never realized, it keeps the rings you get from the Knuckles fight. I see, so that's how I was able to get so many the last time. Because I always thought, I'm like, they give you a generous amount of rings in this stage, it's not that, they just hold it open from the Knuckles one. Okay, well that's not working. <laughs> My bad. I thought you could probably do the same thing, but I guess not. You have to attack him with your tail. But again, look how easy this is. I mean, you can just keep flying around the whole place. It's so... makes this fight a joke. I mean, even when he does that thing, it doesn't matter. Even when he does that super powerful move where he splits, it, splits into the different forms, it doesn't even matter. Because you're just flying around endlessly. There you go. Haha, got your insides, boy. That didn't sound right. <laughs> Let's go get some more rings, or fl keep flying around, huh? <laughs> oh, you suck, Chaos 4. Nothing compared to Tails' flight power. <laughs> flight power! Oh, wait! Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Tails Miles Prower with his Tails of Fury. <laughs> That's definitely the catchphrase next time. Get away, whoa! You actually almost got me there! <laughs> I was gonna eat my words. Okay, still hasn't. Where is he? Oh, there he is. I don't like to lose too much sight of him because he can surprise you sometimes. Just like that shark from Banjo Kazooie, uh, Snacker, where he just randomly pops up and he's like, oh, hi! And then I'm just like, oh, no! <laughs> Didn't see you there. <laughs> okay, he's still go. Oh, I think he's gonna pop out soon. Oh, oh there we go. Alright. Well, chaos so long. Goodbye. And come back with a better plan next time. Because Tails' awesome might of flight is too much for you, and I totally did not mean to rhyme there. My bad. And once again, we're probably going to get Eggman being like, Behold the Egg Carrier! 
because he's so proud of it he has to put an en extra emphasis on the er <laughs> and make it ah <laughs> oh Eggman uh, what I'm glad is that they kept the Eggman voice throughout the all of these years I mean with Sonic Generations it's the, it's the same with Sonic Future Sonic games it's the same voice and I like that I think this game is a bit different but I like that they kept the Eggman voices that they had in Generations and Unleashed and that's one thing, that I like Tails' voice now. It sounds more like a boy. Later on, it sounds more like a girl, and in generations, they kind of said it right again. But this is the voice I like the most, actually, out of everyone. I like the Colors voice, too, the one in Sonic Colors, but this voice, I like it a bit more. Although it starts to get a bit more girly as it goes along. It does, once you start playing these games more and more often. So I think I'd prefer the colors voice, actually, compared to everyone else. It sounds like a nerdy boy, you know? That's what I kind of like about it. Like, especially the one in Unleashed. I mean, my goodness, that one sounded too much like a girl. And just like last time, we'll actually be doing Sky Chase, and instead of, you know, commentating through it because it's the same thing, I'll probably just speed it up and play some music. But this time we get to see the vantage point from Tails' point of view! Sir, Yay! <laughs> and now we pull out the red tornado, oh my goodness. Was it red? Was it seriously red the last time? I don't even remember. Oh man, I have such a bad memory. I think it was, I probably just never paid much attention to it since we didn't see it from Tails' viewpoint. Oh yeah, Tails is looking so cool right now, he's just like, I've got my plane, it's so cool. <laughs> He's pretty proud of it, as you can tell. And once again, Sonic needs no gears to hold him on. Nope, he just stands on there by himself. But join me after we just finish Sky Chase. did unusually well for that time. I don't know what it was. I think Tails section, it um, actually, it makes it so that you're actually able to hit more things. I think that's what it is, because I did unusually well in that one. Even though, I mean, 30% isn't necessarily considered good. It still was better than my last attempt. If you're wondering what this is, well, it's a little dream that Tails is having right now. Because obviously he can't do much without Sonic. Or so he believes. <laughs> it's funny, that expression in Sonic Space is like, God, how much slower do I have to go? <laughs> this is not a normal rate for me. <laughs> Jeez, Tails, be faster. He should just fly, I know. Could make Sonic run a whole lot faster, but now we end up in the Mystic Ruins. The good thing is, we're not going to be getting lost here since we could just fly over top all of this, so that's the good thing. But I don't think we actually stay here for much longer. Mmm, wow, that dream brought back memories. I owe so much to Sonic. Sonic! Hmm, 
Wonder where he went. Sure hope he's all right. The tornado's not powerful enough. If I'm going to get that egg carrier, I need to finish my prototype. It needs a Chaos Emerald to work. Looks like I better find one fast. You get on that, Tails. Do it. So basically where we got to go, actually, I'm not too sure. Let me go ask the red light. This thing is really helpful. My goodness. You must find the Chaos Emerald, but searching in the jungle is very difficult. Okay, so we gotta go to the Mystic Woods. I wasn't too sure, because now, at this point, this is where you're kind of doing things on your own, a little bit of variety. It's not just, oh, well, we'll just follow Sonic to the next point. No, we actually have somewhere else to go. In fact, if you can recall, and in fact, we'll... Wow, it's good that I activated the cutscene without even knowing where to go. And this is how we met up with Froggy. So that's how Tails ended up meeting up with Frog, because he just grabs the Chaos Emerald, and he's like, hey, it's mine, ha ha! Frog is such a jerk when he's possessed. <laughs> I mean, who isn't, right? In all those other movies. Wait, I can't go pat. Uh, this is. I gotta go here. What the heck? No, what is this? That's that's the way. Maybe it's a glitch. Maybe I could come back and then maybe it's gone. Let me let me try that again. Wait, oops, I got. Well, I went the wrong way. Now this is a point we couldn't. We didn't do with Sonic, so this is something new with Tails actually. Oh, okay, so we have to go up here. I wasn't too sure and that just makes it so that it turns into quicksand and Slowly moves away. Isn't that convenient? I wonder who put that switch up there And we go to sand hill, which is another sub game. This is actually required so I do have to do it But uh, this is another sub game, and it's basically another snowboarding level. That's pretty cool. Actually I like this the feel and I like the music. It's pretty unique. Don't take the boost pads I advise not to take the boost pads because as you can see that's what happens you just lose all sorts of control. Good. I think the best I've ever done is probably get 30. I don't think... Oh, jeez. How did that happen? Okay, that's all right. Just curve your way around. Come on now. Oh, and you just get a giant rock snake jumping hurdles. I don't even know what he's doing. It's like a basilisk all over again. It just matches the theme of this. So good. What, can I get there before? Oh, okay, let's try building a counter from now on. Good. Four. Five. Yes, okay. Oh, good, all right. I got more than five. That was my goal. At least do that, because I'm not very good at this stage. I do crash a lot. It's because when you hold down the B button, you do go a little faster. If you get those boost pads, man, do you go out of control. I don't think you can actually get any rings in here, so just be wary of that. I think if you crash into the snakes at any time, you probably lose, so just watch out for that. Whoa. I got this. That's the end. Very simple. And there's Froggy over there. You can see him in that green ball. <laughs> He's just kind of hanging out being like, I've got the Chaos Emerald and you can't do a thing about it. Yeah, he's that annoying, right? But now, we fade into another dream. Or a premonition. Whatever you want to have it to believe it. Because, I mean, honestly, even Tikal can see you. She knows exactly that she knows that you're there. And that's what's interesting. I never actually knew that until I saw that Omega cutscene. One the first time I played it. I, uh, I never mentioned, but this music that plays when you're watching to call in the cutscene or just in general when you come here is perfect. And by the way, you actually get a power up here. Now this is the funny thing with this power up. If you don't get it now, you're never gonna get it. No, nope. consider it not gotten. This is the one item that's actually missable. That if you don't get it, well then too bad. You can't come back here because this is only activated by going through the story. So you have to be careful. Make sure that you get get everything. And now we could probably explore the city since we can fly so damn fast. I mean, look at this. Wow. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. You can cover half of the city in just one fell swoop. I mean, seriously. Let's see if I can actually get to the top of this. I'm interested. Can Tails actually do it? Go, oh, Tails! Oh, you were so close. Oh, so close. That's okay. Let's just oh, check out this. We've got a nice garden around here. I actually don't know where to call this, so this will be interesting. <laughs> but the good thing is we have Tails to float around everywhere, so it really doesn't matter. This is probably one of their houses... They've got a pretty interesting setup here. I definitely like it. Let's see. I'm not sure. I think she's actually... She might be by the shrine, but that would be kind of redundant. Let me see if she's actually over here. 
And it doesn't seem like she is because Tails is glitching out. <laughs> He's like, nope, it's not here. Sorry, go back. But once again, the Chaos Emeralds are around here. I don't think she's... Nope, she's not there. Uh, hmm. Maybe she was somewhere in the city where I didn't check. I will laugh. I will actually laugh. It was somewhere really stupid. Like, let's say, like, it was right in front of me and I didn't even see it. That would have been really dumb. Oh, you know what? I just ate my words. I see her in the distance. Wow, I'm stupid. She was right there. The servers are the seven Chaos Emeralds. And this is another point that she can actually see you in this time. See? Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Hello there, friend. How are you? How do you do that? Um, what were you saying before? Huh. It's something my grandmother taught me. I'm never to forget it. It goes like this. The servers are the seven chaos. Chaos is power. Power enriched by the heart. The controller is the one that unifies the chaos. But I'm still not sure what it all means. But the number seven is the same as the number of emeralds there are. Emeralds? Forgive me, but I don't think we've ever met before. I'm to call, and you are? Wait, I didn't get to tell her my name! Oh, how dare you, but now we learn some more interesting things. I mean, you can kind of gather what's going on. Chaos is somewhat of a protector. Obviously, something went wrong somewhere. We didn't get to see that yet. And this is how we actually ended up with Froggy. This is where, obviously, Big gets in with his music. It's mine! Oh, come back here, Froggy! Oh, I missed you! And that's why Tails let it go, because he didn't know what Big was doing since he looks so strange. I mean, look at that face. Do you trust that face? It's so weird. I mean, when you hear his voice, well, then you're like, okay, I kind of feel sorry. Now, that face looks crazy. <laughs> I don't blame Tails for letting him go, but at least he got the Chaos Emerald. He kind of passes it off as if it was nothing. <laughs> weird. Oh, but you know what? I got the Chaos Emerald. No, not a problem. <laughs> you know what's interesting, though, is that I actually... Her voice, Tikal's voice is actually the same voice as the red light. So, kind of something interesting to think about while we get to the next part, and that is until next time, join me as we get the Tornado 2. This is Mario Central, signing off!